folks. Uh, Sunday morning, and we're here at Grand Central Station. We are going to take uh, the shuttle train uh, over to Times Square. And uh, we just got off the uh, 7 train. We could have taken the 7, but we're going to check out the you know what's happening on the shuttle, uh, the shuttle train, the passageway. Um, and here we go. Start another beautiful day, Sunday morning. There goes our 11 car uh, new technology train rapidly out of the station. So we're just going to uh, go up, go up a couple levels. Still trying to get used to this new phone. Uh, just picked it up uh, Friday. Pixel 7. So we uh, we're at the mezzanine level, maybe 20, 20 feet or so below the street. A little construction going on here. And here is the passageway to the uh, shuttle train. some of the things they're doing here making it more um, accessible and there is going to be some type of services I don't know if it's food or um, some different type of stores along here uh, the big change to the shuttle train was it was formerly three three tracks and two platforms now it's one platform with two tracks and the uh, the former system had one three car train and two four car trains and now we have two six car trains also at the other end the Times square end of the shuttle train you, there is a passageway to the 6th Avenue subway, so now there's, uh, you can transfer really from Times Square to um, the B, the D, the F, and the M. So basically they took the two platforms and combine them. That's why we have this extra wide platform. And <coughs> the old, the old track was either <laughs> right where I am here or to the left. And this looks like our next train coming out. Nope. Okay. Looks like he's tying it down. So the shuttle train and the passageway 
get an incredible number of people each day. I forget the exact figures that was written down there. But this is the end of the line um, at the Grand Central end. The other end is Times Square line, but there is a connection to the... How they get the uh, the shuttle trains into this uh, about a half mile section of track is through the Seventh Avenue, the One Two Three line. There's a connection at the Times Square at the Times Square end of the shuttle to the uh, to the to the uh, the local, the, the Seventh Avenue local, and that's how they get the trains. Uh, into the shuttle section. Um, as you can see, there's no, there's just very few seats. It's such a short ride. Um, and during the, uh, during the rush hour, uh, these trains get very crowded. equipment uh, that is used on the IRT. Uh, it's definitely not new technology equipment. Uh, one reason, one way to tell is the color of the seats. They have the orange seats. Uh, the newer, the newer uh, equipment just has the blue uh, bench seats. These are almost like little individual places on, on the benches. Um, it's always a little bit of a problem, uh, especially for bigger people like myself, to try to fit in these, uh, these seats that were kind of designed for smaller people. Uh, what is new is these uh, holes, the grab holes in the middle that have the, uh, the U-shape so that more people can grab them without, uh, you know, touching Right. But I like these. I like these cars that uh, are more open. And this will be a good line when they get the new open gangway cars. Rather than having uh, doors at end of the cars, it'll just be uh, you walk from one end of the train to the other. So that is coming, I, I believe, in 23 or 24, um, and I'm not sure where they're going to be, but I would imagine this would be a great place to try them out. Um, these trains are only six cars long, and um, there's not, there's no, there's only seating at the end for like uh, you know, elderly people or, or people that need to sit. 
so they'd be easy to walk through. So the new improvements to the shuttle are really nice. Um, and I mentioned this before in another video. I, I do miss the old the old style. I like a little bit of the uh, I don't know, the, the, I wouldn't call it dystopian look, but uh, the old school look. Um, it was kind of cool. Okay, here we go. We should, we should arrive in about a minute. that the, uh, the platform here is not as wide as a Times Square and the reason is the uh, the, the train this train on track one used to have uh, boarding from the other side on the, uh, the left side and there was another platform so there was a left platform, a middle platform, and then a right platform. So it looks like they took out the furthest track to my left and kept the remaining two tracks, two out of the three. And that's why this this uh, platform is noticeably a lot um, narrower than the one at Grand Central. Uh, I know that explanation was a little uh, convoluted. But this track to my right is the one that connects to the, the 7th Avenue line. It's the one train. The boarding platform for this track used to be to my right and up ahead a little bit. Um, not sure what we can see. You can see a little bit of the yellow. Uh, I'm not picking up well. A little bit of the yellow. Fence. That was the the old platform. And there's no way we can see it now. 
So here we are at Times Square. Uh, this track originally The axis of the platform was on the left. So we're going to go walk down Broadway to um, Broadway and 37th Street. So we're going to exit here. Just, uh, we have a little uh, history, Times Square, the original 42nd Street and Broadway station. So this is one of the original stations, opened in October of 1904, which is 99 years ago. And here's a view, I don't know how well you can see it, of the uh, how it was originally. Um, originally, the trains came down and crossed over from Times Square to Grand Central here. As you can see, there was, at one time, there was four tracks. Uh, two locals, two express. And then when they just cut it off to make it a shuttle between the uh, one, two, three, and the four, five, six, it went down to three tracks, now it's down to two tracks. It was kind of cool, and I like these type of uh, entrances. Let's see that. There is one down, um, similar to that, at um, Astor Place. I think I have a video of it. Anyways, folks, thanks for um, thanks for coming along for the ride, and thanks for watching. Really appreciate you all. Have a great day. Take care.